too dog. He's from it's the suburbs. Dog. It's too dog. He's from the suburbs. I, I ain't from no motherfucking suburbs. Man, him don't got nothing you don't in know common. Me. You don't know me. Fuck but, you talking but, about? But the little female crazy. he got. That's that's the problem. But that little female he got, well, she probably around here somewhere. <laughs> I'll catch up with him. Hey, hey, hey. Little female. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, with that, let's move on. Listen, this is a tremendous fight. I'm not going to even comment on none of that because, yeah. again, the focus is kind of what the focus is. And when that time comes, Tank will let you guys know mm. what he's doing. Excitement is brewing as we eagerly anticipate the clash between Gervonta Davis and Frank Martin scheduled for June 15th. With anticipation mounting and sides being chosen, let's delve into the predictions of the pros and see who they believe will emerge victorious in this upcoming showdown. Leading the charge is none other than Ryan Garcia, the rising star of the lightweight boxing realm. Known for his bold demeanor, Garcia isn't one to shy away from igniting excitement. His recent revelations about training alongside Frank Martin have sent shockwaves through the boxing community, fueling speculation about potential matchups with either Davis or Martin himself. We share some gym history, Garcia hinted in a recent interview, teasing at the possibility of a showdown. He added, Martin's a formidable opponent, but his unique style adds an intriguing twist. It'll be fascinating to see how it all unfolds when the bell rings on fight night. Garcia and Martin's relationship transcends basic training sessions. Boxing pundits highlight footage from these sessions, revealing Garcia's precise technique against Martin's ferocious brawling approach. This dynamic has fight enthusiasts buzzing with anticipation to witness how Davis's and Franken's contrasting styles would unfold in a live bout. However, Garcia's commentary didn't end there. He boldly declared, Gervonta Davis will hit the canvas sparking conjecture that Garcia may have his sights set on a future showdown with the victor of the Davis-Martin clash. Garcia, currently holding the top contender spot according to the WBC rankings, finds himself in a prime position to seize a title shot. Emerging victorious against either Davis, the reigning WBA champion, or Martin, an up-and-coming contender, would firmly establish his dominance in the lightweight division. While Garcia hasn't explicitly singled out either opponent, his remarks have certainly piqued interest. It's apparent that his preference leans towards facing Frank Martin. Whether Garcia is teasing an immediate showdown with the victor or simply generating buzz for a potential future clash remains uncertain. However, the spotlight isn't solely on Ryan Garcia. Rolando Romero has also entered the conversation with his own thoughts. Rolando Romero, the nimble lightweight contender, doesn't just catch attention with his flamboyant attire and devastating punch. He's equally renowned for his outspoken demeanor and eagerness to dive into verbal sparring matches, adding an extra layer of excitement to the boxing scene. As the anticipation builds for Gervonta Davis's imminent bout with Frank Martin, Romero has stirred the pot once again. In a recent live social media session, Romero openly aired his skepticism regarding Martin's ability to pose a threat to Davis. He added, Tank is operating on a whole different level. There's no chance Martin's laying a finger on him. This showdown won't even stretch beyond five rounds. Romero's bold statements have caught many off guard. While some fans echo his sentiments regarding Davis's superiority, others speculate that Romero's motives might be to unsettle Martin. Nevertheless, the undeniable fact remains. Romero and Martin share a history, having crossed paths in the amateur circuits of California. As Romero celebrated his triumph in their previous amateur match, whispers among boxing aficionados hint at Martin's remarkable growth since then. Whether Romero's words stem from sincere doubt or calculated mind games sparks a contentious debate. Yet one thing is certain, they've injected an additional dose of suspense into the impending Davis-Martin showdown. What makes Romero's commentary especially intriguing? Firstly, Romero looms as a potential adversary for Gervonta Davis himself. Both renowned for their electrifying punching prowess and captivating in-ring personas, a potential clash between Davis and Romero tantalizes fans with the prospect of an epic encounter. Rolando Romero's recent remarks have ignited a spark in Frank Martin, renowned for his unwavering work ethic and determination. Romero's skepticism might serve as fuel for Martin, propelling him to defy expectations and deliver a breathtaking performance on the fight night. 
Romero's words inject an element of unpredictability into the lightweight division, potentially reshuffling the rankings if Martin manages to secure an upset victory over Davis. This outcome could pave the way for unforeseen future matchups, including a possible rematch between Romero and Martin. Love him or loathe him, Rolando Romero continues to command attention with his headline-grabbing statements, though the spotlight isn't solely on him. Teofimo Lopez, fresh from his remarkable triumph over Vasily Lomachenko, also adds to the excitement with his presence. Lopez, fresh off a triumph against a boxing legend, has delved into the forthcoming lightweight clash between Gervonta Davis and Frank Martin. His insights, stemming from a recent victory, significantly amplify the anticipation surrounding the June 15th bout. It's a battle of intellects, Lopez remarked in a recent interview. While Davis boasts renowned knockout prowess, Martin shouldn't be overlooked. He possesses formidable skills and ample motivation to showcase. Lopez's viewpoint carries substantial gravitas. Not only is he a prominent lightweight contender, but his 2020 conquest over Lomachenko firmly established his dominance in the division. This adds considerable weight to his evaluation of the Davis-Martin bout. So what did Lopez's remarks uncover? Firstly, he acknowledges Gervonta Davis's formidable reputation as a knockout specialist, backed by his impressive record in finishing fights. Davis undeniably possesses exceptional punching power. However, Lopez doesn't overlook the danger presented by Frank Martin. Martin's diverse skill set and relentless pressure pose a unique challenge for Davis. Lopez's comments also allude to the future landscape of the lightweight division. The victor of the Davis-Martin clash is poised for a shot at unification, potentially facing champions like Devin Haney or Shakur Stevenson. Given Lopez's own standing near the top of the rankings, a showdown between him and the winner of the Davis-Martin bout becomes a tantalizing possibility. In this tantalizing scenario, anticipation mounts for the impending clash as it promises more than just a bout between skilled combatants. It offers a tantalizing peek into potential future matchups that could redefine the lightweight division for generations. As for Lopez's allegiance, it unequivocally lies with Davis, a testament to the mutual admiration they share. Despite the possibility of facing Davis down the line, Lopez confidently predicts Davis's triumph over Frank Martin. The plot thickens, yet the real intrigue arises when Devin Haney steps into the fray with his own thoughts. The imminent clash between Gervonta Davis and Frank Martin ignites fervor within the lightweight division, while reigning WBC champion Devin Haney ensures he's not sidelined from the discourse. Haney eyeing a potential future showdown with the victor injects another layer of anticipation into the June 15th spectacle. Reflecting on Ryan's defeat and Davis's prowess, Haney speculates on Martin's vulnerability, elucidating why his remarks hold intrigue. Haney's aspirations for undisputed lightweight champion status are no secret, and triumph over the Davis-Martin winner would propel him nearer to his coveted objective. Haney's journey toward becoming the undisputed champion faces its fair share of hurdles. We can't overlook his prior loss to Ryan Garcia, who in turn was defeated by Gravanta Davis. According to Devon, this historical backdrop injects a fascinating element into the Davis-Martin bout. A victory for Davis further solidifies the prospect of a showdown between him and the formidable Haney. Considering Garcia's cheating excuse is no longer in play, it leaves us wondering what justification he might conjure up next time. It's intriguing how both Devon and Frank Martin Haney are eyeing a potential future showdown. While acknowledging Martin's prowess, Haney has hinted at Davis's formidable punching power potentially giving him the upper hand. This speculation only adds more excitement to the mix. What further spices things up is Martin's own declaration. Meanwhile, the featherweight realm is ablaze with anticipation, with Shakur Stevenson, the undefeated WBO champion, amplifying the buzz surrounding the impending showdown between Gervonta Davis and Frank Martin. Say, man, look, man, your beef is not with Floyd Mayweather. You sitting here beefing with Floyd. It's a fighter out here that's been calling your name that want to fight you. Javante Tank Davis, let's make the fight happen, man. I'm tired of tweeting. I'm tired of talking about it. Stop ducking me and let's make the fight happen, man. Come on. Stevenson emerges as a formidable contender in the realm of potential future opponents, 
opting for a straightforward approach by openly challenging Gervonta Davis with a resolute message of, come see me. He doesn't mince words. Stevenson acknowledges the magnitude of the showdown, but asserts that Davis should not underestimate him. He firmly believes that after Davis's hypothetical victory, the next step should be facing him. Stevenson's bold call-out injects a refreshing dose of reality into the lightweight title landscape. Fed up with the endless speculation and verbal sparring, he yearns to settle matters where they truly belong, inside the ring. This bold declaration adds an exciting layer of intrigue to the impending Davis versus Martin bout. All eyes are now on the ring, pondering whether the victor will indeed step up to face Stevenson in the ultimate showdown. Stevenson's significance is undeniable. For starters, he and Davis stand tall as undefeated champions, setting the stage for a monumental clash between two titans, a showdown vying for lightweight dominance. Their distinctive styles further amplify the intrigue. Stevenson's elusive defense and tactical finesse pitted against Davis's sheer force promise a captivating spectacle. Moreover, Stevenson's recent callout isn't surprising, given the simmering tension between the two fighters, a tension that's brewed over time through media sparring, culminating in a riveting rivalry that fans are itching to witness resolved. Stevenson's words resonate beyond Davis. The imminent Davis-Martin clash carries weighty implications for him. A commanding display by Davis might cement his reign atop the division, intensifying the anticipation for a showdown with Stevenson. Conversely, should Martin defy the odds and claim victory, it paves the way for a tantalizing unification showdown between Stevenson and the unexpected victor. Despite the anticipated excitement, some experts are dampening the anything-can-happen narrative. Their analysis of fighter statistics and past performances suggests a clear favorite. Gervonta Davis enters the ring with a calculated 60, 40 winning probability, yet this bout appears heavily weighted in his favor. However, there's a whisper of potential upset lingering around Martin. Each fighter possesses distinct strengths and weaknesses that pundits are dissecting. Davis is undeniably a force to be reckoned with, boasting an impressive knockout ratio and the ability to extinguish his opponent's lights with a single, well-placed punch. His southpaw stance injects an element of unpredictability, while his aggressive fighting style often overwhelms opponents from the outset. He approaches each fight with the precision of a predator, patiently studying his prey before launching into action with devastating consequences. On the contrary, Frank Martin offers a distinct challenge with his versatile skills and technical mastery. Unlike a typical brawler, Martin adopts a boxing approach, emphasizing precision over brute force. He relies on a sharp jab and a strategic mindset, carefully selecting his moments and laying traps for his adversary. Down, studying him. Uh, the game plan is crazy. You know, so it's a lot of a lot of them guys he get in there with is 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 it's not like me, you know? They're not like me. So uh, the game plan that we got, man, is we go in there and capitalize off the game plan. I think it'll be like a, it'll be a crazy night. Cat and mouse type of f The pivotal moment in this bout, as many have observed, may occur in the opening rounds. Can Martin weather the initial storm from Davis? Should Davis land a decisive blow early on, the match might end swiftly. Yet, if Martin employs his agility and defensive acumen to evade danger, the fight could evolve into a cerebral contest in the later stages. This is where things start to get intriguing. While expert analysis tends to favor Davis for his sheer power, it shouldn't overshadow Martin's capabilities. If Martin can effectively neutralize Davis's initial aggression, his technical prowess and endurance might become pivotal. He could gradually wear Davis down, capitalize on defensive lapses, and potentially clinch an unexpected victory in the later rounds. Stamina will be a critical factor, particularly if the fight stretches to its limit. Davis's explosive style might drain him early on, while Martin's more conservative approach could give him an advantage in the later stages. Strategic planning will also be pivotal. Which team can craft the superior game plan? Can Martin's trainers devise a strategy to weather the initial storm and exploit Davis's vulnerabilities? Lastly, there's always an element of unpredictability in boxing. A stray punch, a miscalculation, 
or an unforeseen injury could drastically shift the fight's trajectory. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.